G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. Today I'm going to install this set of Barkbuster handguards onto my KLR650. Now I have the Pro Taper bars of mine, the 7 8 uh, ATV high bend, but these will also fit on the stock bars. What you need to get is the 22mm or 7 8 inch handlebar kit uh, for the Barkbusters. These are the Jet Barkbusters and I'm led to believe that these are the ones that fit best on the KLR650, but there's only one way to find out. All right, let's have a look what's in the kit. All right, let's see what we got. These are Australian bars, I believe. Well, they're definitely made in Australia, and they're very popular in Australia, and they're usually extremely good quality. So right, we'll see if we can open them up. Let's see what comes in the kit. What have we got in here? So we've got two handguards. One of them's wrapped, one of them isn't. What the? We've got the two. Uh, bars that go like that, one will go like that, the other one go on the other side, I'll pop them back in for now. And we've got all the fasteners we need. This is the mounting hardware that goes uh, inside your bars, so you've got something to clamp it down onto. This is where you want to get the kit for your uh, size handlebars because this is where they fit properly. You can do them a little bit further out, but um, ideally you want to clamp pretty tight. So what we'll do is, I'll show you how they go on. Basically, this goes through there, you put a bolt through there, and then these attach together. All right, let's start getting into it. All right, we'll just roughly line these up to see where they're gonna go. Uh, that, yeah, it should fit fine. Looks a bit, could be a bit tricky because this uh, brace is right in the way where this clamp might go, so we're gonna have to do it uh, that side or that side, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. All right, we'll just try it here first. See how it reaches. Just hook this up roughly. So what you gotta do is just put, this goes through here, you do that usually afterwards when I'm just mocking it up. And that all goes through here. Put the nut that's provided on there. I'm just gonna do it very light. Put a couple of spins on, just to see if that's gonna be where it goes. That should be about perfect, everyone. Forgot to mention these come with a washer as well that you put there. It goes at the end of your bar. That in. What we'll do is push it in there a bit. Okay, I'll show you where I put it. It's just on the inside here of the brace of the Pro Tapers. And that is nigh on perfect with where I want it to be. Just tighten these up a little bit because they're very loose. I don't know if you heard that, but there's a thunderstorm outside. That's why I'm not uh, doing it outside and why we can all only see stuff all. Yeah, just loosen off a bit if you need to so you don't scratch your bars up. Put that Allen key in there. And tighten this up a bit. Same for this front one, just make sure it's braced a bit higher for you. So it covers you where you want it to actually protect, which is generally your hands and your um, brake and clutch levers. All right, there's the first one installed. Really easy to do. Um, as you can see, this is where I put it. If you've got these ATV high bars, uh, that is probably the best spot to do it. So you're fiddling around, just chuck them right there. I tried it there and it sticks out too far here. Um, so definitely just on the inside of the brace there. Um, yeah, it fits really nicely. Solid as these are. Man, Bark Bus is just so good. So good. A lot of people will put Loctite uh, on all the bolts. Only reason I'm not is because I'm gonna take them off and spray paint them black so they match the rest of the bike. All right, let's move on to this side. Let's see how it goes. It could be a bit more tricky because we've got a little stuff in the way here, so it might take some maneuvering. We've got the uh, brake to contend with and the throttle cable, so we'll try and get it all through there and not damage anything. And also, we want to look at our clearance. So this has just got enough clearance there. It's actually fine. Um, I'll show you guys. Yeah. Very tight, but it does have clearance. Uh, I may have to just tilt the bars back slightly. Okay, we'll just mock up where they need to go. Uh, I think they're gonna need to go in the exact same spot. We should be good. One of the great things about bark busters is they're lightweight. They're still strong as buggery, but they're lightweight. Well, that's on. Now this is gonna be the part we have to just, there's plenty of movement in these. Just gonna make sure they're not in the way and we don't damage anything. Bolts and everything, perfect size, are very easy to fit. Same process, just gonna pop that in. It's even got little 
grooves on it so you can't stuff it up, which is fantastic. It helps pull it tight. Then we've got the washer over as well, and that just goes in. It's all good quality of stuff, eh? So if it's a bit fiddly to get it in the hole there and do it, just do it like that. And then just slide it in. And tighten it up like that. All right, chuck that one in. Oh, perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect, everyone. See, it's a slight, you can see it's slightly more in on this side than the other side, but that's all right. We'll just got to tighten it all up a little bit. All right, the hard part is done. All I've got to do next is put on these, which should be very easy. It's just a couple of screws, and then we are pretty well done. Let's do it. Okay, these are just installed with a couple of Phillips head screws. They come in this little packet here. Very easy to do, so I'll get them out. I'll tell you what, anyone can install these, even if you're not mechanically minded at all. Do not pay anyone to do it. It's so simple to do. They even click in the place. How good. Make sure it's square. Beautiful, how good is that? They are on. So the other side. All installed, how good. That was so easy to do and the quality is fantastic. They're simple yet, that's kind of what you want with this kind of thing. Uh, gonna offer some fantastic hand protection and for your levers and everything. Uh, you can also get optional bar ends to reduce vibration. I might get them, I'll see how it rides first. I found it to be okay uh, without the hand guards on. So maybe with these in on, it's slightly improved. If not, I'll get the optional bar ends to reduce that vibration a bit. But um, yeah, really good. They don't knock or anything. Yeah, they're not hitting. Just misses. We're just missing. Don't get us wrong, we are just missing. Um, but we can adjust that as well by just putting the bars back a tiny bit. I was thinking about doing that anyway, so that is good. I'll show you this side. Looks fantastic. So the only thing left for me to do is I am going to paint these flat black, uh, exactly the same as I did with this uh, bash plate down here, just so it matches the bike, because you can see the new KLR is basically black everywhere. <laughs> this, so this stands out a bit like a sore thumb. So I will do that. Um, this bit, you're not gonna see the jet riding as much, but that's about it. I only just saw it at the end, but it does come with instructions too. Uh, I have installed some in the past, so I just remembered from memory a long time ago. Um, so these installed very easily. It tells you which way the you know um, bars are supposed to go and everything and the order for your clamps and all that. So that's fantastic and it's all numbered too. But you can figure it out as well because simply <laughs> the bolts won't be long enough if you don't use the right bolt in the right place. And there's only like two or three bolts, so it makes it really easy. And to get it the right way up, if you're worried, one, it's supposed to go that way, but two, see it's got riding here? It'll be upright if you got it the right way. So if it's upside down, it's the wrong way. So these should be fantastic. Uh, I always recommend a set of hand guards on an off-road style bike or an adventure bike. You know, you're not doing enduro stuff a lot of the time, but it's kind of a just in case because nothing worse than snapping a lever if you clip a tree or you cover off and these snap off or get bent. This gives you a bit of protection and also it gives you uh, um, a bit of weather protection as well, believe it or not, because your hands, are gonna be hidden behind here. I've noticed it with this um, because I took off the original hand guards, which are terrible because one broke, and I noticed the uh, wind straight away. I was like, oh, there's a lot more wind on my hands. And also when it was raining, uh, I noticed that my hands were getting completely saturated, whereas you've got some hand guards in there. It does stop a little bit and deflect a bit of wind, which is always good because it can get a little bit fatiguing. Just those little things like that kind of help on your longer rides. So sorry about the lighting and everything. I am stuck in the garage and as you can see, it's very cramped. I've got three bikes and a mower and a lot of stuff. I've got to sort out my shelving situation, don't I? But that's another thing. It is pouring rain outside. It is absolutely miserable weather. So I thought while that's happening, I'll chuck on my hand guards, you know, while I've got a spare half hour or so. All right, that's it for me. If you have any questions, put them down below. Hit that like button and subscribe and keep it on the back wheel, people. Catches.